Good morning, everyone. My name is Nora Sharkassi, and I will be your professor for the Entrepreneurial Strategy course for the semester. I welcome all students coming from different backgrounds interested in taking this course. Uh, digital Business Innovation, BE and IR students all welcomed in this course. Let me begin with a short video. This will be one of five videos for today's flip learning style session. Okay, let me begin with you guys with a general introduction of the overall style of delivery for this semester. So as you know, this semester, I'm going to give my classes into two days, Fridays and Tuesdays. In Tuesdays, I will be with you in person and all students who are in Japan obligated to be in class in person uh, during the Tuesday sessions. Uh, those who are abroad and haven't had the chance to get into Japan yet, only and only if they are abroad, these students are allowed to be with us over Zoom. So this is the hybrid style where we'll have some students connected with us over Zoom while others connected with us uh, in person in class. Now, for today's session, it's Friday. All the videos will be uploaded on Moodle by 11.40, which is the time of the beginning of the course. And uh, all the material will be available for you. I highly encourage you to study and uh, attend the flip material on time, Friday at 11.40. Uh, there is a bonus for you coming to class at 11.40 on Fridays. I mean, coming to class, coming to Moodle and watching the videos for the flip uh, a session because I will be available also on Zoom. I will not stream on Zoom. I will not give a lecture over Zoom. I will just be there over Zoom doing other things because I've already prepped for the course, done my work, but I will be there doing some other things. I'll be available if you have any questions. If you couldn't understand one of the uh, activities that you are required to do, then you can easily use the Zoom link and discuss with me in person, virtually. So uh, this is the, uh, I would say, the advantage of attending the flip material or watching the flip material with your classmates on Friday. Now, all students are obligated to be available on Friday at 11.40 to watch the material and work with their groups. If the team decide, for some reason, they decide that they're going to meet over Saturday and watch the film material and do the activities together, it's okay only and only if all the team members agrees on that. If one team member does not agree on that and this team member wants to follow the rules and wants to be watching all the videos on Friday during the class session, which is, in principle, what you're supposed to do, then all students will be in that team will be obligated to come to class and watch, uh, like to come to Zoom, uh, sorry, not Zoom, Moodle, and watch all the videos for the flip uh, style class or session. I hope this is very clear that this class, you can't work in this class on your own. This is a team-based class. For time limitation, resource limitation, and others, you can't work on a project on your own. You have to work with a group. You have to work with a team. Starting up a business, you're not going to be able to run a business on your own forever. You will hire people if you are successful and grow the business. So part of this, the training in this course, is not only the technical part or the business part, it's also the soft skills, developing, developing soft skills, working with other people, and developing appropriate communication skills as well. Back to the Zoom link, by the rules and regulations of the university, we're not allowed to stream a, a, a course over Zoom on Fridays. I have to be only giving flip style, but I will be on Zoom only and only if you have any questions. So I am not going to give any classes over Zoom other than the hybrid style on Tuesday.
Now, the second one is self-explanatory. This is my office hours, office hours on Wednesdays. And um, uh, they are from 12 until 2. Uh, I'm probably going to add uh, the time and the day. I'm sorry, on this on this slide and put it on Moodle more clearly. So I'm going to add office hours on Wednesdays from 12 to 2. And if you have a part-time job and you're not available, for example, on Wednesdays, then feel free to send me an email. Here's my email down here, intracast at tiu.ac.jp. And I will make the time to meet with you. Uh, please uh, send me your uh, name, your ID, and the three different time availabilities throughout the week so that I can respond uh, faster and more effectively to your request for a meeting over Zoom. I regret not being able to come to the university to campus uh, often this semester due to the pandemic restrictions, but I will be working uh, from home, uh, be on my desk uh, for the eight or 12 hours that I do throughout the day. So you will always be able to connect with me easily. If you want to discuss anything with me, also Tuesday from 11.40, most most of the Wednesday, uh, Fridays, sorry, not Tuesday. Tuesday is the in-person, the Fridays. On Fridays at 11.40 during the the, 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 the the time of class, I voluntarily will be there available on Zoom, but not all Fridays, okay? Not all Fridays. Uh, some Fridays I might have to do other work as well. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the uh, importance of the course. This course is very important for... Uh, business economics students because they can um, apply all the skills that they've learned and techniques and, and knowledge that they've learned in different courses. For example, the Golden Pipe courses in any business program are principles of management, principles of accounting, finance, economics, and marketing. In today's uh, life, digital marketing is just goes hand in hand with marketing. So if you're interested in the marketing area, digital marketing, social media, all these courses are also highly related to this course. Social media course, Professor Tan give a very interesting, mostly practical course in social media. I give also a very uh, high quality, advanced and interesting, uh, partly applied course in digital marketing. It's very highly related to this course. You will enjoy this course better if you have taken digital marketing with me before uh, or if you are taking it during the same semester. Uh, also, another relevant course could be also the course that Professor Tan uh, 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 pro, uh, uh, gives, which is um, uh, something with technologies and all that. So this is also very highly related to the course that Professor Tan uh, provides. Uh, for DBI students, it's self-explanatory. They are digital business innovation uh, uh, major. So owning a digital property, a digital business and running it is part of of the essence of the Digital Business Innovation course. Now, for IR students, I have had amazing experiences, not only me, but also team members working with IR individuals in class. In such a short period of time, they have impressed me in how they have developed very uh, satisfactory and even advanced sometimes uh, business acumen uh, working uh, on this project. They also have been able to uh, discuss um, uh, freely in class and uh, add up to the um, interaction and uh, 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 interactivity uh, and communication in class. I really enjoyed wor working with IR students and I welcome IR students in the semester as well. I hope we will have a couple of them with us this semester too. So this is uh, all about the overall uh, importance um, uh, of the course. I will uh, see you in the next video where I'm going to talk on, overall about the main five uh, modules of the course. And then in another second video, I will talk about the assessment. If you have never taken a class with me before or you've taken a class with me, but uh, presentations were not part of the assessment, it is of a paramount importance that you watch the video on um, um, the assessment method. It's, I am very particular and strict with assessment methods when it comes to presentations uh, because presentations are mostly understood as subjective, but I try to objectivize it, quantify it as much as possible. It is very important that you watch this video attentively. Also, this course will cost you a certain amount of money, about 3,000 yen, 
So please watch the video. By all means, watch the video where I'm talking about the cost and I'm going to try to justify the cost for you. And so if this is a downside of the course, do not go away right after this presentation or right after this uh, video. Stick around and watch that video about the cost of the course. And trust me, I'm going to break it down for you and show you how uh, to justify the cost of the course as well. All right. So I will, I'll see you then in the next video.